Mellow Timble missing one free throw. St. Mary's lineup, including Trey Mouton, who's a nephew of Byron Mouton, a national champion here in Maryland. And a steal and a layup for the, one of the other freshmen, Anthony Cowan. Quinn Yama did a nice job getting back on that one. Stolen Cowan. Free pass to the bucket. Chukowski with the rebound for Maryland as the Turks run. Trimble. Down by seven. A lot of that has to do with the switching, and you can see Pittsburgh a little bit smaller in the backcourt, and right away, Cowan goes right at a like-sized defender. Well, if you're Maryland, you're trying to make a comeback here. It's a tough, tough shot by Weish, but by driving to the lane, he drew the defense and created an offensive rebounding opportunity, and there is another three. And they start the game throwing it inside. You see two straight possessions awful by not throwing it inside. Wow, boy, Cowan with a great reverse layup. Pass a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> he just had to go take that jump shot. Thorne was no, nowhere near ready. Cowan, nice dime to Bender. I do the wrap around. 29 point game and block left baseline. They never went back to that, but I watched that for this game. He is dangerous left side. What a move by Cowan with the foul. One of the youngest, and uh, Anthony Cowan is fast. This is your guy. You love this guy. From the inside, yeah. as Tyler Cook tried to get it to Cordell Pencil. It's good and pass and good catch. Dodd, DeMonte Dodd with the first field goal of the night. Debacle, 35-point loss. He was one of the few bright spots, perhaps the only bright spot, hitting six of seven from the floor, and I was having a little trouble taking care of the basketball, and Melo Tremble. Shot clock down to three. Collins gonna have to make it happen. Strong to the hoop, off the rim and through for Anthony Cowan. End-to-end -end action, we haven't had a stoppage in a while. Cowan scores with a foul. In for Trimble. LG Gill, three. Three-point shooter at Duquesne has made two all year here. That is a huge turnaround against the top rebounding team in the conference, and then threes for Cowan, meaning don't have to rebound anything. But Maryland has been outstanding with their ability to pass. Anthony Cowan attacking, had an open path because Devontae Dodd plowed the road once more. Trying to find that scoring touch in the final game before the tournament. Cowan on the curl. Gets to the rim, the bucket, and the foul. In the play, and that's how Anthony Cowan's able to turn that corner and get something going. Great, but 50% of the time, he's giving the teams the points. Baycoat lost, gives it away. Cowan coming the other way, and Anthony Cowan lays it in. Avi Toomer, on the way to Maryland, the team Took him to get his leg looked at, a stress reaction in his left leg, and that's going to be good and one for Cowan. But Cowan in his quickness, that time he notices that the defender is a little bit off balance and just goes right to the basket, and the defense collapses. You see five gray shirts around him. Lockdown defenders in the league. What he did the other night to Alonzo Trier of Arizona was special. Cowan with the three. Jackson will go to work against Edwards with 12 to shoot. Cowan, deep three. And runs it home. He leads it by three. Maryland getting some outside production from Anthony. Jackson has to do more than just assist and rebound. He's got to score. Cowan, the three. Oh, no. This game's not done yet. My heavens. Arms back out there for Purdue. On the attack, Cowan. The bucket of the foul. Anthony Cowan trying to carry the Terps all the way back. As he has gotten going here early. Four points. Jackson is last time out. And just five points up ahead. Cowan with a layup. OB posting up. Right hand floater doesn't touch anything. Four in the shot clock. Got to put it up. Cowan for three. Yes! Anthony Cowan from downtown. Jared Jackson Jr., the son of Jared Jackson Sr., who had a great career for Jenny Thompson at Georgetown. Meanwhile, Herter on the reverse layup. Back and forth they go here in East Lansing. One of the great places to watch a college basketball game. Meanwhile, Cowan. Stay in touch, get another stop, and you get the ball again. Cowan a three. And finally, 
He stops the bleeding. And this is big here, this stop for them psychologically, I think. It's really good reading the next anticipated screen on a cut. Oh, that's a settle. And why not, I guess, huh? Three. Tomaya just checked in for Maryland. Where's number 33? You can make a shot, Gus. Nice pass, your little penetration by the guy. Got a play, you gotta use that offhand, and right here, just that little hesitation, body search, and a chance for three for the little guy. He's just a sensational player right there. Dickens has had some wide open looks. He's only hit one of them. Offensive board, Joukowsky sets up Cowan. He hits the three. Cowan gets double, five to shoot. Anthony Cowan with a crossover, gets it back, double clutches, and knocks it down. <laughs> if you're Indiana, it's really nothing you can do about this. You play that defensive po possession to perfection. You force the tough double clutch shot, and sometimes the offense, if it counts, it's just better. I mean, how, you can't play better defense. Unless you block the shot. He can be a part of the healing process. From Tom Izzo, less than an hour ago to us. And here comes Marin the other way. Knocked away by Cowan defensively at the other end. Get it to the post and watch his timing. Marin takes the ball and by swinging it from left to right. Trying to block it to draw an unnecessary foul. Entertaining first half at the Bryce Jordan Center. Cowan long range. Yes. Three points. Get out of the lane. But a couple possessions ago, Anthony Cowan gets enough of a rub. Matchup zone, it's gonna evolve and continue to rotate as the ball moves. Cowan finds himself open and bags a three to open the score. Taken away by Northwestern and Derek Parton down low. Cowan could come up with it, but Herder does. Kevin Herder on the slice to the left. The two best players on this team, the offense goes through them. And here's Cowan dishing it off. He leads him an assist. Cowan on the dish. That's an easy one. And he's been a fixture in the starting lineup. Cowan with a nice move and a great dish. And how about Joshua Tamayas with just his seventh three-pointer of the year? Tommy Boy reference. Is that a great? Oh, I'm sorry. You should watch some movies every once in a while. <laughs> Cowan Jr. found himself in the lane and they'll count the bucket. Man, look at Cowan just blowing by Matthews and then Simpson came over. Marcel finds Cowan. Shot clock is deep. Cowan, oh, and score the basket. Anthony Cowan in traffic. Because you need to release this shot, Brian, before that second foot hits the floor or it's a walk and Cowan. And leading by 21. Maryland getting more comfortable. That's a good shot. Feet were set. Cowan has been in it now for the last four minutes, making good decisions. The field early as the Terps come the other way. Cowan spots up, top of the keys, got it. Anthony Cowan gives Maryland a 9-2 lead as Bruno Fernando set to check in for the Terrapins at the scores table. Nebraska lost all those non-conference games. Kansas, St. John's, great last year. Going to the lane to the left hand. Boy, that was quick. And the foul, and he'll be at the line. Look at this. Heads always up, taking it right to the basket. Sees the inbound. He's a freshman. Many of these Terps are. But it's the junior Cowan that leads them to the basket. Burks couldn't get that one to drop. Cowan on the move. Cowan with penetration. Cowan with the layup. But they made nine threes. Just 32% from beyond the arc on the season for Penn State. And the drive at Bucket Anthony Cowan Jr. for the Terps. The latter stage of the first half. Well, if you're on Iowa, that's really the only way you can defend that play is to try to draw the charge. Nifty dribble from Cowan Jr. on the layup as he beat the defender to the rim. Cowan with a three. And Anthony Cowan. Big swish, just his second made bucket of the night and his first from deep. He's got 10. Here we go, late shot clock. Cowan contested, and that's the one he hits. Gone a bit with inside of three to go in the half. Cowan. Yes. Russ and Jess settles in Chicago for the State Farm halftime report. Stay tuned. Trying to take the baseline. Blocked by Bruno. Fernando all. 
plays defensively. Cowan stepping back for a three. Launching. Too quick. And then that allows Maryland to get out and go. Cowan with the fake steps past champion and just buries. Bringing it up the floor. Maryland down. 72-68. Cowan for three. Yeah. Anthony Cowan. Big shot. To Seton Hall on their game plan. They just played a little better. Cowan. A lot of contact. Ball goes through. Cowan the basket. And a chance for three. Six feet tall. So good on this initial attack. Quick first step. Shooting opportunity for Trice. That was a good look. Just did not fall. Smith pulls it out of there from Maryland. Cowan drops it off to Iowa. That's just great rotation. And off the bench. Fernando, the double team, comes flying at him. Backs it out. Cowan will launch and hit the three. Anthony Cowan. Seven to shoot. Cowan with eight points, launching from deep. And he hits! Oh my goodness! Knock it down, but Cowan, you give me room, I'll make you pay. This is what I do. No Ohio State opponent has had a better day against the Buckeyes. It's Maryland team hitting on all cylinders. Cowan will launch with the shot clock going away, and Cowan with the exclamation point! Not necessarily Reeves Forte, but he can knock it down when given the opportunity. Right around 32%, so he's not great, but... Well, that is great. Anthony Cowan. Well, he just turns the corner, no one able to slide in front. That's one of the few times, Brandon, he's been able to separate himself from the speedy wheeler, and the, the key to that play was made possible is that because... Of the corner, Dante Scott off the top of the backboard. It's going to stay with Maryland. No reset. Deep three. Cowan! For the last seven for Maryland. Six point lead right now. He and Eric Ayala, two man wrecking crew. Smith is open underneath and lays it he in. He was the open glass. on the initial pass. Dave Cowan didn't even look at him. He, was, he ran Main Street. Get him in the post again. Wiggins from the corner. And the Terps are on top. Wiggins is a guy that needs to get on track and we talked about it the other day is that when you release the Dockage new ratings too? the Dockage new ratings are coming out after Tuesday because I'm telling you right now look at this left hand hit the left and count it from unranked Howard just gets whipped you cannot let this kid get in the middle of the floor you see the left hand right hand get fouled he's too veteran Ayala killed the Switch. dribble. Now Smith for Cowan with nine to shoot. Cowan for the tie. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! From Northern Virginia! The shot that got us here. Watch his feet. I'm stopping, and I'm watching it, and every time he gets to the end, I get choked up the same way I did the first time I saw it. Got numbers for Iowa, and there's Scott to intercept the pass. Great hustle. I'm telling you, they need to get a, a, war, a more worn basketball, I'm telling you, because he, these guys are not handling the clean. Excuse me, he had three against Ohio State, but it didn't score us before that. Toussaint got his shot blocked by Cowan, and he's able to save it. What body control from Cowan. Look at that. The block. Has a presence of mind to jump while he's inbounds. Over 18 points per game in the last 11 for Joe Wieskamp. Cowan left alone for a good look. Well, you see Toussaint reacting back out to Cowan, but he was down inside trying to help out against Jay Poison. And right now, the Illini understanding that and, attack, and attacking that approach. Big three by, by Cowan. Cowan. Turned it over. It's taken too long in the post. No look feed inside and a beauty. <laughs> I think he liked production for the big. Yeah, no doubt. AJ Turner's pass deflected and taken away. Here comes Cowan. Cowan lobbing the spin. Oh, the alley oop. Shot clock down to five. Oh, great ball fake. Oh, the iron time to the senior. Working on DeJulius, it's a matchup he likes. 
And he'll take it. Yes, sir. 